1937 centennial movie by Fred Briner had been taped. Another 16 millimeter centennial movie taken by Highland High coach Gwen Davis was found. It covers much of the same parades, those taken in 1937. This parade led as usual by the American Legion Color Guard, followed by the Highland High, or the, rather the Highland City Band. There's Tabby Stoker, the mayor. This movie was taken from the corner of uh, Laurel and Broadway looking northwest. Here's the American Legion Drum and Bugle Corps. And here we are in the plaza with the American Legion Color Guard getting ready to raise the flag and also dedicate the new uh, fountain that was begun in 1937 for the centennial. This is looking east across the plaza. There was the, an unidentified speaker for the 1937 centennial. There's the Highland High Band. The majorette was Wilma Earnhardt. Now the photographer had switched down to a place on West Broadway and now he's back up at the Laurel and Broadway intersection again looking north on Laurel Street. That was the St. Paul band that's going by here. Back to the Highland High band. With the speed of the camera, it's very difficult to identify anyone so far. However, I think it slows down a little bit as we go along. That was Pat Spencer with part of the committee getting ready for the big parades that were being held Saturday and Sunday. Each one of the floats depicted some part of Highland history. And there's Franz Hoog, the postman from Lucerne, Switzerland, who was here to throw his flag. It was Mrs. Fern Cam at right. That looks like Betty Littweiler there.
Okay, there they are getting ready for the grand parade that was held Sunday, the last day of the centennial. There's Kathleen Hugg at right and Everett Ferris in left. And here comes the old faithful American Legion color guard. And Franz Hoog giving a flag throwing exhibition. The first float in the parade was that of the Centennial Queen, and the Queen that year was Marie Winter. This was a visiting drum and bugle corps. Alvin Schumacher and Schatz Old Lager Beer being advertised. The Turner Society was very active in Highland at that time. They had a float. There was a sinking of the Schiller, a pet milk float. And here comes the Girls Drum and Bugle Corps, sponsored by the American Legion. Moulton Bartley Shoe Factory had a float. The Hug Truck Company, very prominent industry in Highland in those days with one of its products. The U.S. Mail Service was depicted right from the days of the Pony Express through to Air Mail, as you'll see a plane coming down Broadway.